Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered how do satellites stay in orbit? I mean, have you ever looked up at the night sky? I do all the time, it's so pretty. But while you're up there looking at the moon and the stars, some satellites are whizzing overhead just out of your line of sight. Satellites are everywhere around our planet, and we rely on them for a lot of important things, like getting us from point A to point B without getting lost, or, you know, starting World War III, but you might be wondering, how do they stay up there? Don't they eventually fall back down to Earth? You bet they do. Sometimes this is intentional, like with some decommissioned satellites that are left in orbit as space junk or with re-entry capsules that bring astronauts home from the International Space Station. But generally, if a satellite falls from its orbit, that means something has gone wrong. Like maybe an equipment failure has knocked it out of its orbital path or its fuel supply has run out. If a satellite doesn't have enough energy to maintain its orbit, then yeah, it's gonna come crashing down to Earth. And that isn't always a good thing, which brings us back to the question, how do satellites stay in orbit in the first place? Well, let's take a look at what would happen if we launched a satellite into space. Let's imagine our satellite is just a little ball, and right here on the ground is Earth. Now, if we just let this ball go, it'll just fall straight towards the center of the Earth. That's because Earth has a gravitational pull and everything that gets too close gets pulled in. I should probably mention that Earth isn't really the center of the universe. It's just our home planet. There are other places in the universe where gravity pulls things toward it. But for now, let's stick with Earth. Anyway, if our little satellite just fell toward Earth, that wouldn't be very useful. So let's give it a little boost and throw it straight up with enough force to make it go all the way around the Earth. In this case, the force we need to throw the ball with is 8 kilometers per second or about 21,600 miles per hour. Now that we've given our satellite the proper amount of force, two things are going to keep it in orbit. The first is its forward motion. As long as it continues to move forward, it won't fall to the Earth. The second is gravity. Yes, gravity, the same force that will pull anything to the Earth. When you jump up, gravity brings you back down. When a bird flies to high, gravity brings it back down. And when a satellite goes too far away from Earth, gravity brings it back in. So it's actually the combination of these two forces that keeps the satellite in orbit, forward motion and gravity. If you're thinking that sounds kind of like a seesaw, you'd be right. Just like a seesaw goes up and down but stays relatively in one spot, a satellite goes around and around the Earth but stays relatively in one path. The higher a satellite is above the surface of the Earth, the longer it takes to go around the planet. Some satellites orbit close to the surface of the Earth. These are called low Earth orbit satellites and they zip around the planet in about an hour and a half. Other satellites orbit much farther away from the surface of the Earth. These are called geostationary orbit satellites and they take 24 hours to orbit the Earth. This means that from the surface of the Earth, it looks like they're not moving at all. And because of this, geostationary orbit satellites are often used for things that require a fixed location like television broadcast and some types of telescopes. No matter where a satellite is orbiting, as long as it's up there doing its thing, we can use it for all sorts of cool stuff like tracking weather, sending messages, and helping you find your way around. Low Earth orbit satellites are perfect for GPS and internet because they're way closer to us, so signals zip back and forth super fast. But if a satellite stops working, we've got a problem. Take the International Space Station, for example. It needs thrusters to stay in orbit, and if those fail, it could lose altitude and crash. Most satellites don't fall to Earth, but if they do, they've got systems to safely guide them back down when they're done. Just a little push from the atmosphere sends them on their way home. At the end of the day, there's a lot going on up there. And while we can't see most of it, it's nice to know that someone is. If you enjoyed this, smash that like button and subscribe for more. Drop a comment too, I'd love to hear from you.